Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, Matt, also known as MJ Web Design, here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create uh, some simple, quick um, pop up boxes using HTML, CSS, and a small bit of JavaScript. So, the first thing I'm going to go over is giving credit towards JavaScript. Uh, I'm going to credit css tricks.com um, for this. Uh, Basically, this is a hobby of mine, of course, web design, so I haven't gone into it fully yet, so I don't know JavaScript. But it's a, this is a great little piece, little bit of code that allows me to show slash hide uh, uh, divs, div IDs, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Um, oh, the link for this page will be in the description below, as well as the code. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add this to the head tag and um, and here we go, right, so we're going to start with div id, uh, we're going to add a wrapper, and a wrapper end, uh, now this is just to um, uh, center all the uh, the content in this tutorial. Uh, sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic. Uh, this is literally the fifth time I've tried recording this tutorial because of fraps. Uh, and apparently it doesn't run very well if you're using dual monitors. Uh, would have been good to know about half, uh, well, about three hours ago. Uh, but anyway, um, we're going to add JavaScript void and then brackets zero. Uh, now, basically, this is just going to allow, well, it's going to make the link do nothing. Like, it's not going to take it anywhere, which is kind of what we're going to do, because this is just just a placeholder for the JavaScript, really. So, we're going to have here, open pop-up box one. And we're just going to copy and paste this a couple of times. Now, we're going to have, um, space this out a little bit. We're going to have three pop-up boxes, so... Okay, so let's go over to the page here, and so as you can see, open pop-up box one, open pop-up box one, two, and three. So as you can see it's just centered a little bit and away from the top of the page. This is what that wrapper uh, is doing. So um, ignore all that. That's from the that's actually from the previous tutorial. That's what we're going to go over. Um, so uh, we're going to start by doing the HTML for this. Um, the way I'm going to do this is going to do div, uh, well, sorry, I'm going to write all the code out and then explain uh, what I've written. So I'm going to do div id pop up box one. Uh, I'm going to add a comment to that. Now, I suggest you um, all get into the habit of uh, writing comments. It keeps your code a lot more organized and just easy to manage. So we're going to add a class as well to this, which is going to be pop up. Um, uh, position uh, and then div I we're going to add another div id which is pop up uh, wrapper uh, pop up wrapper can you tell I'm really used to writing this code now because I've ri uh, written it about 500 times <laughs> uh, div id pop up container and there we go pop up container end all right uh, and also the heading which is pop up uh, box one and some content so let's put congratulations you've opened pop up box one okay and Let's also add a link, which is a link that's going to close. We're going to add that JavaScript void brackets again. And we're going to type in close pop up pop up box. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go over what uh, this is and what we're going to be styling. So uh, this ID, we're not going to be styling this. This is the whole reason we have the class there. The ID is more of a placeholder and kind of a name holder for the JavaScript. 
Uh, this is what the JavaScript is going to toggle, and I'll go into the why we've done it this way a bit further in this tutorial. Uh, the class is the thing we're going to be styling. This pop-up position um, is just going to be um, basically what it says. It's going to be positioning the pop-up box and adding the background. Uh, the pop-up wrapper um, is just going to uh, align its center and move it away from the top of the web page. The pop-up container is going to be the background for the pop-up box. Now this pop-up uh, position background is going to be the the kind of opacitated um, background that you have like an effect as an effect on the um, uh, pop-up box. So that's pretty much all the HTML there is to it and then of course this little bit of content and the close button which we'll get into after. Right, so uh, styling. Now there is literally no styling to this. It is just three lines as you probably saw already but pop up position pop up wrapper and pop up container and that's it you're done no 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 <laughs> you've still got to add the styling it's not that easy um i wish <laughs> okay so uh, once again, I'm going to do it the same way as I did for the HTML. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to write all it out and then explain what it all does. So position fixed, top zero, left zero, uh, background color as oh we're going to use RGBA. Uh, we're going to use RGBA black with an opacity of zero point seven and I think is that everything I think that's oh of course width 100% and height 100% okay so position fixed is just going to keep the background positioned oh that's what was wrong there we go I thought I noticed something uh, so position fixed I'm actually going to show you what this does so position absolute I'm going to change this for a second and refresh the page as you can see, it's got an opacitated background. You can see the links behind. Now, you'll notice I've added a, width, a height of 2,000 pixels on the uh, body. So if I go ahead and scroll, you'll see that the uh, pop-up box scrolls with it. If I change the absolute to fixed, it's going to make sure that when you scroll, it only scrolls behind it. And it keeps the pop-up box where it is. Um, so I'm just going to mention this now, actually. The, th the only really... I I don't know if it's a downside. I guess it's more of a personal preference thing. I'm not too bothered about it, but when you have the pop-up box open, uh, the website behind it is going to be able to scroll. So as you can see, the pop-up box, like all the content which we haven't styled yet, stays where it is, but the website behind does scroll. Now, personally, this isn't much of a problem for me. You can't interact with the website at all until you press this close button, which we haven't done yet. Um... So yeah, just keep in mind that that is uh, a thing that um, is going to happen. I'm pretty sure there's probably some jQuery or JavaScript that's going to stop it from scrolling. But anyway, personally, I just I'm not too bothered about it. Okay, so now onto the wrapper. It's going to be pretty much similar to the one below it, but we're just going to make the width slightly um, less. We're going to add a margin, and we're going to add the top margin a bit more. We're going to have it 70 pixels auto and then text line left and actually whilst we're here we're just going to do background color white padding I've got it in caps padding 20 pixels and this is going to turn it into this so now you can see let me just make it look a little bit better actually just for there we go just for aesthetics as you go, we just added a small border radius of four pixels. And that is pretty much the very basic styling of a pop-up box done, really. Uh, and now we need to get working is the um, the JavaScript. So once again, we're going to go over to this. Oh, and before we do that, actually, you're going to want to set the pop-up position to display none. The only reason I didn't add that was just to initially show you what it lo looked like styled. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here uh, after recording this five times. Uh, okay, so display none, just refresh, and that's just going to get rid of it. And now the JavaScript does the rest of the work. So we're going to go over to the CSS tricks page again. 
And you're going to notice that down here in the HTML uh, example, uh, reference URL. Okay, maybe this isn't actually by CSS Tricks. Okay, so CSS Tricks reposted it, but I'll leave a, uh, leave a link in the description with this link and this link as well, uh, with, of course, the code in there. So anyway, um, we'll stick with the CSS, uh, CSS um, Tricks just because it's a bit more uh, simple to uh, look at. Um, and read. So on click toggle visibility foo. Now we're just going to go ahead and copy that. I'm just going to copy that pay, uh, space as well. Um, and we're going to paste that into the uh, HTML uh, just after the uh, directory of where the link is going, which for us is JavaScript void. Okay, now I'm going to paste one to every single one of these because we are going to have three drop down menus so for this we're going to ch want to change it to pop up box one which like i mentioned before is the name of this div id and that's basically the reason why we don't want to style that div id is because if we were going to do that we'd have to um create a separate styling for the div id every single time for every single pop up box uh, we add Whereas if we have ID and then class, we can just change the name of this ID, yet it will still have the same styling. Right. So we're also going to add it to the close link in the actual pop-up box. I'm going to change that to the same, which is pop-up box one. So now hopefully the link should be working. So if we click open pop-up box one, there you go, pop-up box one. Congratulations, you've opened pop-up box one. Close pop-up box. So as you can see, it's now a working pop-up box. And as you can tell, it's very simple to do. So now we're just going to go over copying and... Uh, well, it is copy and pasting, but we're going to go over adding pop-up boxes. Now this is just done. It's just a copy and paste job. I've done it wrong. There we go. So now, I've just copied and pasted it twice. Now, the only things we're going to change here is uh, the div ID's names. So it's going to be two and three. And then with that, I'm just going to change the content as well, just so it makes sense. Um, there we go. Now, we want to change the JavaScript as well to make sure that they open the correct uh, pop-up box. So we're going to write in here, pop-up box two and pop up box three so now now we oh there we go get rid of that f so now if we refre refresh the page we should have three working pop-up boxes uh pop-up box one yeah pop-up box two yes and pop-up box three yes okay so that is pretty much all there is to this it's a very simple way of adding like simple um pop-up boxes to your website if you're a beginner this is actually really easy to do um, and it's very customizable you can you, know, you can change colors you can change um, you know you can make this into style these into buttons you can have buttons underneath here you know you could if we go into pop-up box one here and grab this link let's put it outside of that container and we're gonna style it to be style text align right so if I now let's just put the there we go so now if I refresh go to pop-up box one it's outside of there and you know it's, it's not in there anymore so you know you can do that and if you wanted something I like to do uh, I don't have the I haven't created the image for this but if we go outside the pop-up container again and add this let's add style we're gonna add text align right again uh, and we're going to add that link. Let's copy it from this actually, because it's we want it to do the same. And let's just change that to an X. So if we just refresh, go to open oh, box one. You can see now that I've got a little uh, X here, that's a, which I can just go ahead and click, and that's going to close it. And you can change that to an image. Uh, whatever you want you can change all this inside here you can add images into this 
uh, an example that I've given in the uh, done previous in when I was recording this tutorial was that say you wanted a contact form you could uh, have a like something that says contact and you could have an email form here uh, and stuff like that so very simple quick way to create a pop-up box with HTML CSS and JavaScript um, if you've uh, enjoyed this tutorial or you've learned anything from it please go ahead and leave a like it does help me out a lot um, and if you want to support myself and the channel and more videos uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already um, if you are a subscriber thank you very much for the support we are uh, how many are we on now should we refresh the page let's see if we've gone up one more oh Who's going to be our 777th subscriber? 